landscape. Uh, before we get into the landscape, though, I want to wish you guys happy holidays. I know this is two days late. Christmas was two days ago. Um, but, you know, just wanted to say that. And right now I'm showing you guys some art stuff and, like, video stuff that I got for Christmas that I actually will be using in this video, besides this. Um, thank you, Molly, for getting me this sketchbook, um, and Erica for those paintbrushes that I just showed. And my brothers got me this super cool Strathmore watercolor paper. Uh, I'm extremely excited about it. I actually used part of this in my video. It's nice and thick paper. Ooh. And here is the star of the show. My Pacific Arc H-1305 lead holder. Oh, I'm super excited about this pencil. Um, I'm just demonstrating that you can spin the dial and show what sort of lead you have in it. I think I have HB. I'm not sure because it came with lead. I'm just assuming here. Oh, and my lights. Uh, my mom bought me some umbrella lights for Christmas. They're, well, she got a really good deal. Um, and this knife. I bought myself this knife for Christmas and my sister one does like it. Uh, this isn't really art related, but I do use it in the video, so. What the heck? Super beautiful. I'm looking at it right now. Uh, it has a very sharp blade. So sharp that I can cut this because I didn't know where my scissors were at the time of filming. Um, so you just see my hair and my garishly red nails. <laughs> Remember, I did that for the holidays, you know, Christmas. And there's the paper. Um, so I'm using some Im images from Pinterest and, oh, there's my watch too. My mom got me a watch. It's the same as my other watch, Casio. It's, uh, comfortable. Use it every day whenever I'm, uh, you know going out of the house uh so anyways um right now i'm using my pacific arc h-1305 to sketch out some like wintry forest scenes and um i use pinterest to get some inspiration my pinterest is linked below along with my patreon my other social media and all of my supplies are listed in the description box too so don't even have to you don't even have to worry about that um, I don't really ever paint landscapes, so I'm a little bit, uh, not nervous, but like, I don't know. I just don't really like making them that much, so I get a little bit, like, anxious whenever I'm trying to make one, and they never really turn out the way that I was, uh, hoping. This one turns out alright, but the colors don't look as deep as I wanted, but I started getting a little fed up painting this, so it stays a little bit light. Right now, I'm using the Winsor Newton Cotman One Stroke brush, and I'm also about to use the Daily Rowney Three Quarters um, Oval Wash brush. And I reviewed both of these brushes. They're linked in the description box. They're both videos: a Daily Rowney Simply Watercolor brush review and a Winsor Newton Cotman brush review. So, if you really want to see that, you can uh, check that out too. <laughs> right now, um. I just used a nice green, uh, greenish gray wash, and I just mixed up some brown and some more green, and I, uh, you know, showed you that. <laughs> I hope you all had a uh, great holidays and good Christmases and stuff. I hope you got what you wanted, gave what you wanted to give, um, had fun with your families and friends, and if you're a loner, I hope you had fun too. Now I'm just uh, really squiggly adding some trees, and <laughs> I was inspired by Bob Ross. Of course, he uses oil paints, and he's an extremely good painter, landscape painter, and I am an okay-ish landscape painter. Of course, I do have those two new sketchbooks, so I guess I'll get more practice in. Um, I'm really happy to have those two new sketchbooks, the uh, Canson mixed media sketchbook and the Strathmore paper because although I do like the Canson paper that I typically use it's the one second let me check it's the Canson artist series Montval maybe not artist series but it's Canson Montval watercolor paper even though I do like this paper it buckles a lot and I just wanted to try out some new paper 
so that's cool. I'm still gonna use the mod wallpaper though. I just have to tape it down to a board in order to make sure it stays um, relatively flat. And I like mixed media because whenever I draw, um, I don't always want to paint and I feel like it's a waste to use the Montfall watercolor paper if I'm not um, painting with it. So yeah, right now I'm adding more definition to the trees or trying to, you know, at this point I was probably getting a little frustrated with the, uh, with the trees and the scenery. And right down the middle, if you see the white mark, I was painting, well, I was going to try adding some water. And I do, and it kind of turns out looking more like a snowy scene than water flowing through, or like a little creek flowing through a forest, but it turns out alright. <clears throat> yeah, there we go, I'm using that same old uh, one stroke brush, and just, you know, marking in more lines and painting in um, some green around, making the trees look darker. I was trying to give this forest a misty feeling um, behind the front, like, two trees, but it turns out looking a little bit more like I dripped water onto the page, smudged it, and gave up, which is kind of what I did. Uh, now I'm just squiggly adding in some color to make it look like that tree, that weird long branch is reflected in the water a little bit. And I'm just going to keep on adding details, trying to add details, darken things up, deepen colors. <laughs> I was working with a slightly limited water or uh, color palette, just using those three shades of green that I mixed, that I showed you. The uh, really misty, like, light gray, the color that I used for the trees, and then the brown that I'm using for, uh, well, that I just used. Uh, again, just going back through with my uh, Winsor Newton Cotman size 4 round brush to add details. And boy, does it feel nice using a round brush. <laughs> I, For some reason, I just kept going back to the one stroke brush. But I realized I have round brushes too. I like using round brushes. Just pick one up and use it, Sarah. Come on. Uh, and there we go. That Pacific Arc line holder again. Perfect. I'm trying to use less colored pencil, and I definitely needed some more, like, um, detail added to this, so I decided to just use the lead holder because I'm excited about it. I'm probably going to film another video very soon using the pencil. Uh, sorry I'm so out of breath in this video. I'm kind of tired, and for some reason I'm just out of breath. Hopefully you can't hear it. And, well... This is pretty much how it turns out. I'm just adding some more detail. There's supposed to be rocks by the water. Blah, blah, blah. I just didn't have the patience to paint this the way I wanted. But I do give it to my mom, and it does turn out alright in the end. And she likes it, so that's all that matters. Ooh, look, look at that peeling. Peel that blue tape off the painting. <laughs> oh, I like peeling off the tape. It makes it look fancy when there's a nice white border, straight lines. Well, I guess this is good a time as any good a time as any to say thank you for watching this video i hope you enjoyed me painting this i hope the lighting in this video is good and less way less yellow um thank you guys for subscribing and being here and i guess i'll see you super soon hopefully before next week uh yeah thanks bye <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.